Welcome to the C learning video for the alignment of a free flight rapier machine. Warning. Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. First we will put the upper and lower oil guides in the correct position. This by pushing them to their maximum inner position. Hand tighten the bolts. And also loosen the hoop support completely. Before we continue we are going to prepare the two cooling blocks for further setting. First remove the outside cooling block side guides from the two cooling blocks. Next loosen all the terminal pieces on the cooling blocks, don't remove them. The side guides on the back you have to leave, these we will use to make the correct setting later on. Just push them to their maximum outside position. Also clean the inside of the cooling blocks while the blocks are off the machine. Now we are going to set the lower cooling block. Please make sure that the cooling block is facing the correct way. So with the rapier wheel guide slot facing down. Next place the gauge in the machine and move the first loosened terminal piece away, so we have space to use the gauge. Now we are going to use the gauge to look if the cooling block is placed in the center. Make sure that the reference line on the cooling block is perfectly in line with the reference on the gauge. If this is not the case you will have to add thickness plates. Loosen the block, add plates, tighten the cooling block and check again. Do this procedure until it is correct. Next we are going to place the front and back terminal pieces in their correct position. First make sure that the cooling block is placed high enough to enter the gauge. Enter the gauge into the front terminal piece, and make sure that the gauge is placed in the center, by shifting the terminal piece in its correct position. Moving the gauge in and out should be smooth, your caliber doesn't hit anything. Hand tighten the terminal piece and check again. Do the same procedure for the back terminal piece. Remove the bottom cooling block and place it in his correct position. Don't forget to place the thickness plates back. Just hand tighten the block for the moment, we still have to do the height setting. Loosen the side guides on the back and push them against the stoppers of the terminal pieces. And tighten the bolts. Make sure that the side guides are perfectly against the terminal pieces. 
Next we are going to do the same procedure for the top cooling block. Don't forget to place exactly the same amount of thickness plates like the bottom cooling block. Place the cooling block a bit up, so the gauge can move through the terminal pieces. Just hand tighten. Enter the gauge into the front terminal piece, and make sure that the gauge is placed in the center, by shifting the terminal piece in its correct position. Hand tighten the terminal piece and check again. Do the same procedure for the back terminal piece. Moving the gauge in and out should be smooth, your caliber doesn't hit anything. Loosen the side guides on the back and push them against the stoppers of the terminal pieces. And tighten the bolts. Thank you for watching. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.